But talk about a great day to spend outside. We found people soaking up the sun in historic Smithville, Atlantic County. We enjoyed record heat today, family. But all good things, yeah, you know the rest. Here's Kate keeping an eye on some rain headed our way. Hi, Kate. Hi, Yuki. Yeah, I was telling my kids, get off the screens, get outside. You don't know if we're going to have another day like this until maybe next May or June. And certainly tomorrow, you're not going to want to be outside because especially at this time tomorrow, the rain will be falling heavily as change arrives. It couldn't stay like this forever. We knew it, even though we hoped it might. Here's a live look outside. Philadelphia clear, dry tonight, and boy, is it mild still. 68 degrees in Philadelphia right now, 68 in Lancaster, 63 degrees in Wilmington, and 66 in Atlantic City. Skies are clear. It's a beautiful night. You could almost ignore the fact that all this is lurking just off to the west. But unfortunately, this system will come through tomorrow into Thursday for us. It's a pretty potent storm system producing severe weather near Chicago tonight. Heavy snow on the back edge of the storm system into Minnesota. This will come through tomorrow for us. It's mainly rain, but we will possibly hear a few rumbles of thunder as that line comes through and it will linger into Thursday as well and then pull in some colder air by the end of the week. So storm scan three is dry for now, but with warm moist air lifting in and not a lot of wind. We'll have another round of fog developing overnight and we'll see some areas of dense fog into tomorrow morning as well. The overnight low is 60, which is actually higher than what our average high temperature should be this time of the year. That's how far skewed above the average we are. Tomorrow for Veterans Day, it's another mild day, but unfortunately, it's not the kind of day you want to get outside and enjoy 73 degree weather because it doesn't look very nice. Fog and mist in the morning. If there's any clearing, it would be late morning, but by noon, one o'clock, that's when the rain will develop and then it's just going to keep on coming throughout the night. 3 a.m. We've got fog, mist and drizzle. This is around 1245. You can see this big wall of green just poised to move on through. The heaviest rain is tomorrow afternoon and evening. This is about 5 o'clock tomorrow. You can see heavy rain just in time for the evening commute. It continues coming through about 8, 9 o'clock. Another wave will come through overnight tomorrow night into Thursday morning. Thursday morning's commute looks slow and then a gradual drying throughout the day on Thursday as colder air begins to work its way in from the north and west. How much rain are we talking? For most of us, we're looking at a general inch to two inches of rain. You can see the yellow to the uh, orange totals there, but off to the south, there are some spots that could get upwards of two or three inches. The threat for flooding does seem low because it's been so dry for so long. Latest on Tropical Storm Ada, this is moving very slowly through the eastern Gulf of Mexico. It may make landfall by the weekend in Florida. It's fourth landfall that would be, and the record season continues. We now have Tropical Storm Theta. We've never had Theta before. We've never even had Ada before, but this is moving east toward Europe and toward the African coast and will not be a threat to the United States mainland. But Theta, the year of 2020, just keeps on setting records that we don't want. 73 degrees tomorrow, rain developing for your Veterans Day. Rain early Thursday, then temps drop. Friday's cool with just a spotty shower. Nice bright start to the weekend, but you will need the jacket at 55, and showers return on Sunday. You get back over to you. I was just going over the Greek alphabet in my head from my fraternity days. <laughs> we, don't, we don't want to get to the next one, that's for sure. No. All right, thanks, Kate. <laughs>